everybody, how are you? It's been a while since I've done a check-in video, but there's a couple of things I wanted to share with you. Um, first of all though, I hope you're well. I hope you and your families are doing okay and um, getting out into the sunshine. Um, we all live in such busy houses, I know it's really hard sometimes to just find a bit of space where you can chill out and relax and um, just have your own company. So. Um, do remember that sometimes just closing your eyes and taking a few deep breaths can really, really help you relax and feel like you've got a bit more space. I do that quite a lot at the moment. Um, anyway, the things I've shared with you this week are two um, activities which I've done at home quite a lot the last few weeks. Um, the first one is a really, really simple drawing activity. Um, you don't need to spend very long on it, but you can spend, you know, quite a long time on it if you want to. Um, all you need is some paper and some colouring pens. And the other thing is some ideas for talking games that you might like to try out at home with your brothers and sisters or your family. Um, we've all been living with the same group of people for a really, really, really long time now. Um, and sometimes we just run out of things to say run out of things to talk about so um, these talking games might uh, give you some ideas of some other stuff you could try. I'd love to see anything that you do end up um, making to try these games at home so just email them to the school and we'll uh, they'll pass them on to me. Anyway I'll check in again soon I hope you're all well um, take care of yourselves and carry on being kind and taking those deep breaths. Bye bye. So here we go, here's how it works. I've got just some scrap paper here, something I was using for something else earlier. And that's what I'm gonna use. So choose a color. Um, I'm gonna start with green. And you're gonna to have to trust me on this, but I'm gonna shut my eyes and I'm just gonna draw for a few seconds and just. Hoping I don't overgo paper and draw all over my carpet, that wouldn't be awesome, would it? There we go, so I'm going to just see where I got to. Okay, so I'm going to grab some colours and start filling in. See, yellow, my favourite colour first of all. And I'm really trying to do good colouring. This isn't critical to do good colouring, but for older people, for older children and for the grown-ups, actually really concentrating on staying inside the lines is very relaxing because you've got to focus your mind on that thing and you find that your mind is not dwelling quite so much on the things that might have been making you feel a bit stressed or a bit worried, a bit anxious. There we go. So you get the idea. I'm going to choose another colour after this one. There we go. Carefully, Mrs Baldwin. Oops, I went over the line there. There we go. So another colour. There we are. Now, I'm not going to film me colouring in all of this because we'd be here all day. Obviously, you'd be very sensible and turn off the video, but what I am going to show you is one which I did earlier. A couple I did earlier, actually. Here we go. Uh, I think that one's my favourite. I kept the colours really simple. And as you know, anyone who's seen me walk around school in my yellow hat, I love yellow. Very cheery colour. So there we have it. Give this a try at home. Don't need to take long over it to see. You might discover something that you love. And I'd love to see some pictures of them. So if you can send them in to me, uh, you'll find my address on the website, lbaldwin at Lindhurst. I'd absolutely love to see them. Take care, bye-bye.